Hey you guys, this is Jess with Sourceful Journey back with another video. Okay, this one asked me, did you go back to your oval tips in terms of my nails? Yes, I did. You can see it. Yeah, so I went back to my oval shape, which I love, love, love. Someone finally done them right. <clears throat> the last lady that did them wasn't too happy. Of course, I won't be going back there anymore. Anyhow, um, so yeah, I love them, love them. They're perfect length and they're just right. So, I want us to do a quick video here about the notion of giving. Giving and genuinely doing it because you truly want to. Not to do it for clout. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and just jump right in. So, giving. Let's talk about it. So, quick story time. I actually had this encounter. Um, hmm. What date was that? New Year's Eve. This was just recent. I remember I was going into a gas station just to grab something to drink. I think it was a, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> my water. I love this water. East Central. It's my go-to. Those of you guys who know me, you know, that's always my go-to. So, I um, would actually, you know, I'd go in and get like maybe two bottles at a time. I usually have a good deal, like two for seven or whatever, depending on where you're located. I usually get those. Anyhow, when I went to the gas station and I came out, I remember um, there was this gentleman sitting outside. It was an older Caucasian guy. It had to be all in his like maybe 60s, 70s, somewhere in there. He was obviously um, one that was homeless. I could tell. He was sitting on the side of the building. Well, actually in the front of the building against the brick wall. I think he had a bike on the side of him, if I remember correctly. And... He, he looked like he was really out. He was like down and out for real. Um, what's so sad is because, you know, I could tell he was like saying a prayer. It looked like he was saying a prayer to himself and his eyes were starting to really swell up. I don't know if he was acting or not, but that's between him and God. Just know that. As long as one's intentions are pure when it comes to the act that they choose to take on, that's what truly matters. Anything else in the middle, that's between him and God. So, I remember um, when I got in the car, I was starting to drink some of my water. And there was this uh, one guy, some African-American guy. He pulls up. And mind you, he did not... Um, actually no did he get out the car no he didn't get out the car at all at first i you know how you can feel like when someone is staring at you now at the time <laughs> that's so funny these shades i love my shades i have quite a few pairs but this is these are my favorite They're very thick like um but one thing i love about them is because the frame work on the side so they can't really like see the side of your eye what you're getting ready to do or whatever the case may be so the point I'm trying to make is that I kind of like turn to the side to act like I was looking at my purse, right? Catch a glimpse of them to see if he was looking at me. See if my mind was like playing tricks on me or what. Because you just, your gut, you tend to know when someone's like looking directly at you or not. And sure enough, he was. He was staring right at me. And I'm thinking like, this is so weird. Like, why do people have to be weird, make this situation all together weird, right? So I'm like, fine, whatever, you know, and... <clears throat> I'm like, the moment he tries to say something, I'm gonna make it clear to him, I'm not interested. Sorry. Um, so I was already ready for an answer because my thought process with some certain individuals, especially ones who have this air about them, and he had like an air, like he's a, uh, like it's some type of bravado, like a, uh, uh, I'm the ish type mentality. I tend to not like men that are like that. I like men who know how to cure themselves, but don't need to flash their money. You know what I mean? And he had that air about him. Like he's like he's one of those guys that had the very, very clean looking guy. Don't get me wrong. But he's definitely one that you can tell he's a flashy type. And I, I'm completely turned off by that. And so um, 
Anyhow, you know, while I'm sitting there, I'm just like, okay, this is getting weird, but I'm already prepared for an answer because I'm going to just go ahead and shut her down really quick. I'd actually had to do that with a few people uh, this past week. And, you know, I, I did it politely. There's a way you can go about doing it, but making it clear to them that you're just not interested. So to kind of get back to this story, I knew it. I was like, okay, he is looking directly at me. And so, um, but I stopped thinking about it and just went back to drinking my water and kind of like looking through my phone. And then I thought to myself, do I go ahead and give this guy who's sitting in front of the building, do I go ahead and give him some money or not? And then I thought, I said, you know what? I'm gonna go a step further. I'm gonna go back into the gas station, get him something to eat off that hot plate section there. And then I'm gonna give him some money as well. So he'll not only have something to eat to kind of hold him over, but he'll also have some extra cash in his pocket. So I went walking back in, paid for it, came back out. And then I remember I was walking up to the guy, to the homeless man. And I was like, I made a joke. I said, you can't say I didn't do anything for you. And he looked up at me and smiled. And we just started like laughing a little bit. It's such a, a sweet smile. It was very nice. Um, and he was like, oh, thank you, thank you. He's very grateful about it. And you could tell he genuinely meant it. So that's what led me to realize, like, okay, this guy is not faking. He's truly homeless. And so I felt good doing that. And I got back in the car. And literally, as I was getting ready to pull off, the the black guy that was, like, eyeing me down and whatever, he decides to get out of his car. And he walks up with this like swag of sort walk, you know, like very um, suave, I guess you could say, whatever. And he's like, hey, hey, um, I want to give you this. And the, hit the way he went about it, he did it. And I could tell by his body language and him looking around, he did it for attention. Huge no-no. See, in my belief, when you do that, when you are doing it in such a way where you're looking around to see if someone is seeing you do the act, you're doing it to get clout. That isn't appealing. That doesn't draw people to you. That doesn't push people to want to give you a kudos. You know, like, hey, it was really nice to see you do that. No. Because the way I look at it, you did it because not only did you decide to do it milliseconds after you saw me do it, but at the same time you did it and you were doing it in such a way where you wanted others to see that you were doing this act. God frowns on that. And to be quite honest, so do I. I'm sure others would agree as well. For me, you guys are going to notice I, I seem to speak so passionately about wanting to help those in need and such because either I've known people who've been in that experience or have had experience it myself in some form or another as well. You'll find that those very individuals who've had those type of encounters tend to be the very ones that want to be advocates or humanitarians for those people who are currently going through it now. And for a lot of us, it just kind of grinds our gears when we see people do things like that and you know it's not with genuine intention. So what did I do? Literally, he was, as he was getting ready to walk away from the guy, and he was getting ready to walk to the side of my car. He was getting ready to try to talk to me at that point. I didn't give him a chance. I literally reversed the car so quick and pulled off before he could even get a chance to get to the side of my driver's side of the car. You're still not going to get a chance to talk to me. I wasn't interested. As I mentioned, I was going to give him that answer, but I felt driving off was better. Because it further proved the point. You don't get no acknowledgement from me. And especially when you do something like that and it's not genuinely coming from heart. You're doing it to see if others are seeing that you're doing the act. That's a huge no for me. I see all this to say, you guys. Don't be that person. If you're going to give, give because you genuinely want to. Do it because you genuinely want to see a better world. Okay? Don't do it because 
Oh, I seen Jane Doe do it. So I'm gonna do it too. Cause I can guarantee you, when Jane Doe gave so-and-so, whoever it may be, X amount of dollars or that food basket, did Jane Doe give a damn about whether you were gonna do it next? To be quite honest, I think the answer will be no. do it you're gonna give give with pure intention do it from the heart not to do it for clout whether you're just trying to see other onlookers are looking at you within the surrounding area and for the love of god don't record it as bad enough as it is these individuals who are in these predicaments you know being homeless they're already in a predicament of an area that they're not happy about what makes you think they want to be put on camera dealing with that right think of it this way old school saying if the shoe was on the other foot how would you feel right would you want to be placed on camera knowing that you're now facing a certain predicament that you do not want to be in you wouldn't so take that into consideration when dealing with these people as well and like i said when you give give up your intention not looking for kudos and clout don't record it because it comes off not being genuine. And just know, other than look at me think like, oh, that is so nice. But a good majority of us can read through that BS and say, no, you're just doing it for numbers. And you know, the head of it all, God definitely knows you're not doing it with pure intention. And to be quite honest, that's the one you should be concerned with and that's the one that should truly matter. So... I would like to know what you guys think about that. Um, don't hesitate to leave your comments in the comment section below or on the other platforms that you have. And you guys have really been very active in my other spots too. I mean, I've been getting quite a bit of messages. Still getting those emails. Keep those going. But I really appreciate the interaction. And shout out to all the new followers. I'm seeing you guys pull in. So definitely keep that going. Um, as you guys already know, I do, of course, do... Uh, motivational speaking and keynote speaking as well so definitely if there is a certain event that your organization has that you would like for me to come attend and to speak at i am more than open to doing that um you would just need to have someone from that division to reach out to me and we would need to set up the details in terms of what's required in order for us to move forward with the process but other than that um consultations are still open definitely if you have any issues with scheduling on the calendar um just reach out to me and we can then schedule from there um, a day that works best for both of us so as always i am definitely seeing you guys with love and light and i will see you in the next video bye you guys